Hi, welcome to One Word a Day. I'm Sophie, your pilot into the universe of Chinese. We're going to continue our flight into this amazing language, picking up just one expression a day. 振振有词 is the kind of non-trustworthy eloquence in Chinese. Somebody who is speaking with eloquence,、uh, with a lot of words, with a lot of passion. 振振 shake shake, right? It's None of that make make people believe you. So that's a kind of 振振有词 Like you can speak well, but don't we don't buy you. 振 <laughs> we continue with 振必一挥 So it's the same 振 and the 必 Okay, looks like this. Pretty complicated. If you see the moon symbol, I mean this is the moon, but if if it's drawn in this kind of、uh, curve. Shape instead of a crescent. Crescent is a moon, and if you see it in this, I call it omega sign. But it really is like a big question mark, right? And with this, this is our visual representation of a big piece of meat.、Uh, that could look like a steak, right? In a cartoon drawing,、uh, like it's understandable. It's a meat. So if you see a meat symbol, it means part of your body. We often use that to mean okay, it's part of your body. And here, B, the top side is the top, is the sound maker, and the bottom is okay, it's part of your body, so it's a meaning maker. So exactly where it is your arm. So from from this part to this part is every everywhere of here. So it's your arm basically. We call it a B, and the sound maker. We talk a little bit about that before. It's an ancient punishment. It's a pretty sharp tool that can pierce your skin. So it's a punishment eventually used as、um, kind of、uh, if it's a wrongdoing, it, probably law enforcement back then, corresponding to contemporary concept. So it's something related to law, and then. Okay, the mouse symbol, and this we can visually see is a type of kneeling almost. This is like some a person kneel down, and this is speaking. So kneel whenever somebody speaks, and there's law enforcement next to you. <laughs> um, okay, so basically that paints a picture. Of the law enforcement back then, are going to、uh, have this have this、um, creation of、uh, social layers, right? And that's enforcing these layers. So the lower rank are going to kneel before、uh, before the higher rank, and whenever that higher rank, supposedly the emperor, the ultimate, the the tip of the the pyramid, right? Are speaking or something, that person need to kneel down to be to show total submission, obeying、um, that kind of the image. So it has nothing related to this. This is just a, a part of your body,、um, but that is your、um, the sound maker, and that's the meaning. That's where it came from. Well, the the more I know about. Chinese that I'm co-pilot. I mean, I'm piloting, but I'm learning as well. Going into taking a tour of the language and the more、uh, you know, Chinese ancient history that I that I see, it really through these characters, you can kind of see the kind of, the the society back then.、Um, okay, e、um, e is as normal. Pronunciation, but because a hui is also flat tone, so e hui is kind of、mm, flat, bland. So we make it e hui. So e hui, zhen bi e hui instead of zhen bi e hui. Okay, so that's just the the sound、uh, tonation change in context. So depending on what's the word after it, and then this. Commonly pronounce as something are going to adjust its tone. Okay, it's conditional tonation. Quite a thing. Probably I need to do a summary someday to make it easy for you because when I'm using the language, it's 
it's live. It's it's I never think about it. But when I try to explain to you what's the rules, um, it's getting complicated. Okay, so E horizontal line, just one thing, simply means one. A lot of times we use one before an action word. So we have E E Hui, right? And we have Yi Xiao because Xiao is a falling tone. So it becomes Yi Xiao instead of Yi Xiao or Yi Xiao. So Yi Xiao. So one laugh, one smile, one swing. So a lot of times we pair this one motion with in front of a action word, a verb to mean you just do it once and just lightly, um, not heavily repeatedly laboring over it. You just once. So Recently, I came across a book called Effortless. I think effortless is a concept captured here well. You just do it once. And Chinese, we um, appreciate kind of effortless, like almost like the, the ideal is you do, you do nothing and things are going to happen as you wish. <laughs> um, or at least you just do once and then things are going to happen as you wish. So yi hui kind of like that ease that effortless concept in it you just do it once um and hui come from this left side is the hands five finger hand symbol that we've seen quite often and the right hand means jun um jun here is not necessarily the sound maker because it doesn't sound the same um but i guess it's it's a it's the sound transformed uh, sometime over here three that now I pronounce as hui. It's again something related to your hand, your motion, and then the hui jun on the right side it means army. Um, ancient times army fighting the cart, the vehicle back then is the main component of formation of army. So be, besides your infantry, the, the foot soldiers, um, you have this cart equipped um, to, to fight. And so when you have enough of the cart, supposedly, I mean, according to some scholar, 4,000 of those carts are going to have, uh, be called jun, like one unit, one big unit of army, if you have 4,000 of those. And this um, kind of a big question mark top portion, but instead the dot at the bottom, dot on the top, um, that kind of, I guess, of, um, okay, this is one big unit and I don't know what the dot doing up there. Um, and you can see here, contemporary Chinese, we get rid of the dot on top of that. So I have the card, simplified card symbol here at the bottom of it. And we didn't wrap it around for the efficiency of writing. So if sometimes you see a cap on top of another character, it actually originally looking like this complicated enclosure structure, but here is just a cap on top of it for, yeah, faster writing. And we get rid of this chimney thing on top of this. I don't know why the chimney, but uh, I, I get, okay, I guess because I have seen the symbol in somewhere else in another form, it's not, it's a wrapping kind of like a big arch and then with a chimney on the top. That means home, that means a covered space. So here, if it's written like that, it means a space full of cart. So it's like a, a unit of this, give you a spatial sense of 4,000 cards in it. That's considered a jun, um, jun, then eventually generalized means army. Okay, so army, the sound maker with a hand means the motion of swing. And if you have your shake your arm one swing. <laughs> okay, I call it arm waving. And whenever I heard this expression, okay, it means some eloquent public speakers are doing this sign, right? And who is a better representation of that motion? Lenin at October, in October. So this is the, the image. Probably this is, came from a, a movie or something, but this is a poster of this public speaker 
very influential. Um, and when he made his speech, he would do this arm swinging thing. And then the people, whoever the audience are going to be ignited and want to have a revolution to overthrow government at extreme um, risk, which is death, right? To people. And that's how this Zhen Bi Yi Hui is used. It's this passionate public speaker, uh, you know, effortlessly, just one swing. And then the next phrase after that, Yin Zhe Yun Ji, it's like respondents are like a cloud gathering. Like that's how effective, how influential this person is. I guess that's the dream of any public, I mean, politicians, right? They wish to have this magic, almost like a magic wand that they can just one swing of arm, people are going to follow you. Okay, see what it takes. Okay, um, one swing of arm. Okay, cash into the currency of thinking by 